Let us take a few moments and remember that we are always in the presence of God. These verses are for anyone who is struggling with fear or worry or anxiety. So listen in, read intently, reflect on it, receive His word, receive His grace, receive His mercy, receive His healing. Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me, He is my helper. But even if you suffer for doing what is right, God will reward you for it. So do not worry or be afraid of their threats. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Tell everyone who is discouraged, be strong, and do not be afraid. God is coming to your rescue. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. 
He freed me from all my fears. But now, this is what the Lord says. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. An anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and I am the last. Humble yourselves then under God's mighty hand so that he will lift you up on his own good time. Leave all your worries with him because he cares for you. Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us now come together and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father in heaven, thank you for your words. Thank you for never leaving me. Thank you for your nearness. You know suffering well. Console us, Lord. We pray for the healing we need and desire and seek. We know we are held closely in your hands. We persevere in hope, knowing that we are never alone, always remembering that Jesus is with us. At times, yes, it can feel difficult to endure what we must. Help us to endure more. We pray that our suffering will not bring us to despair. We run to you, Lord. Remind us that when our pain increases, our hearts hurt, and when we feel lonely or scared, remind us to turn to you and to remain near you, remembering your promise. Relieve us of our loneliness and open our eyes so that we may be able to see your goodness and beauty, and that even our suffering will glorify you. Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary for peace of mind. 
Kneeling at your feet, sweet mother of God and queen of peace, I, your loving child, confidently turn to you in my need, seeking your intercession for peace of mind and comfort to my troubled heart. Oh, listen to me, dear Heavenly Mother. Come to my aid and refuse me not as I cry to you. For you are my mother, and you fail no one who has recourse to you, O consoler of the afflicted, O queen of peace. Amen. <laughs>